In this video, I'm going to show you how you can offer post-purchase one-click upsells with any email marketing service. So you'll be using any email marketing service that you'd like, and you're going to be using the upsell plugin. First, I'm going to take you to a demo sales page that I created so I can show you exactly how the process works. Now, I created this sales page using Thrive Architect and simply imported this page. I'm going to click Enroll Now. It will take me to our checkout page. Let me just quickly enter in the details. I'm going to enter in the credit card information. And with the upsell plugin, you have the ability to offer an order bump. So here we have an order bump for an ebook that they can purchase, but for now I'm not going to check it off. So I'm going to hit Submit Payment. It will now take us through our sales funnel, which we have set up in upsell. They have the ability with the upsell plugin to purchase it or to skip it. We're just going to skip it for now. It's going to take us to our downsell. Again, they have the, purchase, the option to purchase it or the option to skip it. For now, I'm going to skip it. And that is going to end our sales funnel process. So as you can see here on the order summary page, they purchased one product, the course, for $97. So what happens is, let me take you to the WordPress dashboard for our sales funnel website. I'm on the products page for the upsell plugin, and here are, here are all of our products. So what you need to do to be able to offer a post-purchase one-click upsell is, for example, let's say we want to now try to sell them on the ebook. Go ahead and go inside of your ebook. We're going to click on the upsells tab and we actually have a purchase URL. So we're going to have to go ahead and copy this. So again, I'm using GetResponse. Here I am inside of GetResponse. I'm going to go to or create an autoresponder. Now, I already, I already created the autoresponder, so let me go to it real quick. So here's the autoresponder for our demo purposes. Let me show it to you real quick. Just a simple, you know, thank you for your order. And what we're going to do is we're going to send them the option to purchase the ebook, that order bump that we had in place. But we're going to send these th this email because these people did not purchase the order bump. And I'll show you in a few minutes how we can make sure that we're only sending it to the people who did not purchase the order bump. So here's our email. Let me actually go into the edit to edit this email. And simply what you're going to do, again, is you're just going to go into the product that you want to offer the post-purchase one-click upsell. You're going to copy the purchase URL that the plugin, the upsell plugin provides. And you're going to place that link wherever you have your button or your hyperlink or whatever it is to allow that person to go ahead and purchase the product in the e through the email. So we have the ebook here, and I'm going to have this button that says add this to my order. Simply going to click on it, paste in the URL right here, and that's it. So now they will have the ability to purchase this ebook directly from the email that they, that they receive. And this is a, this is extremely valuable and important because the thank you emails, the post purchase emails that people receive, are going to be the most opened and read emails out of all the emails that you're going to send because your customers are looking for these emails after they make a purchase. So this is just going to give you the ability to increase your sales on your website even more. So let me show you how it actually works, how it does work. So we created that email, embedded the URL. I'm going to go to next step. I'm going to save it. So I'm going to preview it just like somebody would see it inside of their email client. So I'm going to copy this URL, I'm going to bring it back into our incognito tab where we just made our purchase. Let me go ahead and paste that URL. So again, here's our email, just like somebody would email would would see it when they receive our email. Now the person if they decide, okay, I want to add this ebook to my order, simply click on the button. And it takes them right to the upsell to the order summary page. So now you can see they are, they purchased the course. It's still showing them that, and now they purchased the ebook for nine dollars. Now the way this works is again a little technical. You don't really need to know too much about this, but the way that this works is 
every single time a purchase a purchase is made that person has a cookie tagged to their computer so that will give us the ability now to offer those post purchase one click upsells and you can do that with as many products as you want they don't even have to necessarily be inside of the the sales funnel that you created you could have 10, 15, 5, however many products that you want, you can now offer that inside of the email. And as long as they are on the same machine, they click that button and it's going to be added to their order. Now, you might say, well, what happens if they're not on the same machine? So if they're not on the same machine, the one click won't necessarily work, but instead what it would do, it would just simply take them now to a checkout page. So let me just show you real quick. If we open, we close that incognito browser, so there's no more cookies left. Let's say we get our email on our phone and we ordered it from the computer. So we're not on the same machine. We're no longer, we're no longer cookied. Click add this to my order. What it'll do is it's not going to spit out some sort of error page. It's simply going to take you now to the checkout page again. And this time, as you can see, you're only purchasing the ebook. So that's how really simple, but that's how you can now offer post-purchase one-click upsells to make even more sales on your website and generate more revenue. And I just wanted to show you real quickly what you can do inside of GetResponse, for example, to make sure that people who don't purchase a specific product are receiving the correct emails. So inside the upsell plugin, for each product that you create, you have the ability to associate that with an, a list inside your email marketing. So here we are on the get response. So every time somebody orders the order bump, purchases the order bump, I'm saying, hey, add these people to the order bump list on get response. So you can do this with every single product that you have inside of the upsell plugin on a per product level. So now what you would do is you come back into get response and you're gonna set up some automation. You're gonna create a new workflow. I'm going to start mine from scratch. So what happens? We want to make a automation every single time somebody subscribes. So I'm going to call this purchased order bump when somebody subscribes. So double click on this. What do you want to happen? Select the list. Any list or specific list? We want a specific list. Which list? Anytime somebody purchases the order bump, we want to add them to the order bump list. So now go ahead and click Add Elements. What do you want to happen? Well, when they purchase the order bump list, we want to remove them from the main list. This way we know that they purchased the main thing and the order bump. So the main product and the order bump. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Remove Contact, drag it over, click on it. What happens? Where to remove contact from? A list? Which list? We want to remove them from the main product list because we know that if they purchased the order bump, they also purchased the main product. So we will remove them from our main product. Simply connect them. Hit save and publish. And that automation is completed. We would then come into our autoresponder, choose our main list and we would set it up with a delay of one hour. So what this is happening is we're saying only send this email to the people in our main product list who purchased our main product an hour after that purchase. And then with our automation, the only people left on here are gonna be the people that didn't order, didn't purchase the order bump. The people that made the purchase for the original course but did not add the ebook order bump to their order. So then they would receive that new email that we just created, and inside of that email is the ability with one click to purchase the ebook again. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you see the power now of offering one click upsells post purchase. Just gives you the ability to generate even more sales from your website, from your email marketing system now. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks.